This lecture is on Windows File Management. Understanding that your computer is an electronic filing cabinet. Think of your computer as an electronic filing cabinet. What is a filing cabinet? A filing cabinet has drawers that allows you to store information in an organized manner. Filing cabinet holds folders and all kinds of documents like letters, reports, photos, contracts, and so on. When you place a document inside a folder in a specific filing cabinet drawer, you must return to the same drawer and folder to retrieve the document. The same concept used in old school filing cabinet system is how computers can, can store information. On a computer, each drive represents a filing cabinet drawer and uses different types of storage devices to store information. Your computer filing cabinet has two types of storage abilities. The first is the permanent storage, and the second one is temporary storage. Let's begin with permanent. <coughs> permanent storage remains on your computer. Your Windows operating system is permanently stored on your computer. It cannot be transported to another computer easily. Other names for permanent storage to Storage is hard disk, hard drive, local drive, and they are usually the C drive. This storage is located in your tower on a desktop computer. So you have the desktop tower, and then you have the hard drive. And this hard drive is stored inside of your tower. On a laptop, the hard drive is mounted in one of several locations, either on the bottom, the front, or the side of the computer. Either way, desktop or laptop, your hard drive is identified as a local disk and information stored on it is to be permanent. Temporary storage devices are removable and they're removable, another name for removable, or portable. You can taste these devices with you. Temporary storage devices are your USBs, your CDs, and your DVDs. Information stored on these devices can be retrieved and used on another computer. Computer drives associated with temporary storage are usually your D drive, your E drive, your F drive. And when temporary storage devices are inserted into the desktop or the laptop, the computer recognizes the device and displays its name uh, and displays the device with a name. When they are removed like a USB device, the, com the computer removes the drive from display. When CDs and DVDs have been removed, a message is displayed informing that the device is empty. This is usually after you click on it again or try to run your CD again or your DVD again. You can view contents of a drive or your computer cabinet drawer by double clicking on the folder icon located on the desktop taskbar. This icon here. Your folder will display the drives or your filing cabinet drawers that are available on your computer. Drives are identified by letters. So typical computer drives consist of a C drive, oftentimes a D drive, and an E drive. With C always always being your hard drive or your permanent storage uh, drive. Your D and E are usually your CD or DVD drive, and they're also now your USB drives. But remember, these drives here are temporary. So here, what it looks like when you open your folder. You see that you have your drives here. You have the drives here. You have the drives here. You also have them here. It says here, removable, DVD on this computer.
drives used on computers at work or school usually begin with the letters at the end of the alphabet like S, T, and V. These are network drives and they will not be displayed on your computer. Therefore, they're not a part of your computer, so they won't be displayed either. If a letter is not displayed after the insertion of a USB device, then the computer does not support the drive as, as I mentioned uh, beforehand. Below, you will notice drive displayed in, in your folder, like your C drive, your D drive, your E drive. Again, um, what is not displayed is your S drive because the computer does not have an S drive. Your computer at work may have one, your computer at school may have one, but your personal computer at home will not have that particular drive.